Hi scholars, uh, today we're going to uh, talk about when is an equation always true, when is it sometimes true, and when is it never true. And this may be a little different um, because usually when you've seen equations in the past, for example, let's go 3x minus uh, 4 equals uh, 17, let's say, right? And when you've seen that equation, you think about what does it mean? It means solve for x, right? However, equations, equations are statements, okay? And statements can be true and they can be false. For example, if I have a statement and my statement says I am wearing a red hat, if indeed I'm wearing a red hat, this statement is true. If it turns out that I'm wearing a blue hat, the statement, I am wearing a red hat, is false, right? The same thing can happen with equations. This is an equation. It's saying that this thing is equal to this thing. They're identical. That's what the equal sign means. It means they're the same thing, okay? And we can ask, is that always the case? Is it sometimes the case? Or is it never the case that these things are equal? Well. Uh, here, one way that we could sort of uh, explore that is just by solving the equation. So we can add 4 to both sides. Whenever I have an equation, I like to sort of draw a dotted line here. So I remember if I do something to one side of the equation, I do it to the other as well. So I can add 4 to both sides. That's nice. Now I got 3x equals, uh, this should be 21. And then I can easily divide by 3 using our inverse operations, end up with x equals 7. Now x equals 7 is the particular value, the only value, that makes this equation true. If, for example, x equals 8, right, we could substitute that in and say, well, does that make the equation true? Well, it's not going to, right? Oops, I'll use the same color, 3 times 8. Right? Minus 4. I'm just I'm saying, I'm saying, well, if x equals 8, let me put it back in here and see what happens, right? That's all I'm doing here. And the question is, is that true? And we can do the math. 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 4 is 20. Does 20 equal 17? It does not, right? So in this case, this equation is sometimes true. It is sometimes true. Because it's true when x equals 7. But it's not true when x equals 8. No, right? No. It's not true when x equals 9. In fact, x equals 7 is the only value for which it's true. All other ones, it is false. OK. So what would it mean for an equation to be always true? OK, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Imagine I have something like 3x minus 12. And I'm going to write it. I'm going to write the equation equals 3 parentheses x minus 4. Hmm. Do these things look familiar? They should, right? Because we know how to apply the distributive property, right? We can say that this is really, oh, we can say that this is really 3 times x, 3 times negative 4. That turns out to be 3x minus 12. And just by continuing, right, I, I rewrite. I didn't change anything, so I just rewrite it on the next line. We can ask ourselves, is it true that 3x minus 12 is the same as 3x minus 12 is equal to? 3x minus 12. It is. It is. This is always true, right? There's no, there's no possibility that this is false because they're the same thing. And in fact, when they're the same thing, we call equations that are always true, we call them identities, right? Your identity is who you are, okay? This and this they are who each other are. They are the same thing. We just, we just rewrite them in a slightly different way, but there's no difference between the two, okay? I'm just going to copy that down real quickly. So we had over here, we had 3x minus 12 equals 3x minus 4, right? And by the way, that, remember the, when we asked you to factor 3x minus 12, you would have you would have produced this 3 parentheses x minus 4 because they're the same thing. Factoring, remember, factoring, factoring just means to rewrite, right? To rewrite it, to rewrite something. So it means rewrite as multiplication. All right, so that's a review that we did. Okay, so now 
Let's take a look. Let's multiply it out again. We had 3x minus 12 equals 3x minus 12. Now imagine I don't see anything here. And I say, all right, let me just keep solving the equation, right? So I go minus 3x from both sides. I draw my nice line, right, to keep everything organized. I end up with a minus 12 on this side and a minus 12 on this side. And I still don't see anything. So let me add 12 to both sides, right? It's kind of ridiculous. But let's just see what happens. What do we end up with? Zero equals zero. This is always true, right? Huh. If we wanted to create a situation, create, if we wanted to create an equation that is never true, for example, if instead of zero equals zero, we had zero equals one, right? Well, zero equals one, that's never true. That's never true, right? Well, how could we have gotten that one here? What about if we had just added one up here, right? We could would have multiplied this out, 3x minus 12 plus 1, right? Da 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 minus 12 plus 1. We could have taken away both sides, 12 or added 12 to both sides. We would have ended up with 0 equals 1. This is nonsense, right? 0 does not equal 1. If 0 equaled 1, then we would have a lot of problems with our bridges, and we would have a lot of problems with our cell phone signals, and all the other ways that math is used to uh, basically create the world we live in, right? So you can, to create, so if you want to create, to create an equation with no solutions, right, with no solutions, you can do something very similar. You can take, start with an equation that is an identity that's always true, and then just change one side of it, right? Add one to it, or subtract two to it, right? Because that will result in a nonsensical answer, a nonsensical equality, something like zero equals one. Okay, so let's go really quickly and take a look at these two statements. Uh, the statement 12 minus 2x equals 2x well, we have our choices. Is it always true? Is it sometimes true? Is it never true? Or is there not enough information? Well, in this case, we could solve it, right? Let's get x all on one side, right? So we can actually go through and say, let's add 2x to both sides, right? I draw my nice line, so I remember where my equal sign is. I have 12 on one side, and 2x plus 2s is 4x, so I can actually solve that, right? Divide both sides by 4. We're using our inverse operations, and in fact, x equals 3. Well, what does that mean in terms of this question? It means it's sometimes true. When is it true? When is this equation true? Precisely when x equals 3. This is when it's true, right? When is it false? This is when it's true. When is it false? Any other value of x. x equals 2, x equals 600, x equals square root of 4. Nothing else is going to work in this equation. This is the only time it's true. Let's take a look at this one, maybe a little trickier. I have 12 minus 6b equals 6 parentheses 2 minus b. Hmm, what can I do with this to explore it? I know, let's use the distributive property. 6 times 2 is 12, minus 6 times negative b is negative 6b. <gasps> and this looks a lot like this. In fact, they look identical. So it must be an, right, identical, it must be an identity, right? You can see why identical identity, why we use the same kind of word, kind of root for it. So what do we know about this equation? It is always true. All the time this thing is going to be true. And that's pretty much it.